Today, we're going to look at one of those perennial favourites of CEOs and CISOs, and that is having a single pane of glass in which to reason over all of their user-based privileged security posture. We're going to look at identity and access management systems, privilege access management, privilege process automation, and privilege endpoint management. So let's get started with the relationship between IAM, PAM, systems, devices, and applications. Now, of course, on the face of it, IAM systems and PAM systems look very similar. They both take in users and they both do single sign-on onto systems, devices, and applications. But they are, in fact, very different. Let's take IAM, for example. IAM is mostly concerned with the identity of the user, and it can prove the identity of the user by using multi-factor authentication and biometrics and other things. And the user within the system often has attributes associated with it. And those attributes are used when that system then does the single sign-on to an application. And it normally does it using SAML. So it asserts that this user is who they say they are and has these attributes. And a PAM system does something very different. Although it can take in a user and it can do multi-factor authentication and it can accept a user coming from an IAM system, when it single signs on to another system, it typically does so at a privileged role level account. And this is where the attributes become very, very different because we have to consider that for our population of business users, most of them only interact with five or six applications. But for our sysadmins, DevOps and SecOps, they typically interact with hundreds of systems, devices and applications that are changing all the time. The other key difference is that the business users are rarely given accounts that could breach an entire company's database, whereas our sysadmins, DevOps and SecOps need to use roles on the infrastructure of systems that could easily get access to entire company databases. So the security posture between the two is very different. Now, the attributes that you need to do these things are typically held in the devices. In fact, they're always held in the devices. So the number of attributes that you need across the really wide range of devices is too much to be held in an IAM system and too much to be reasoned over. This is why you have this switch at the PAM system where you come in as an identity and then leave at different roles at different times and sometimes you get session recorded and sometimes you get things added and subtracted and you have workflow and you have all of those things whereas an IAM system is all about just getting your daily work done. So let's walk back and think about an attribute. So if you have an attribute in an IAM system of admin, what does that mean? Does that mean that when you arrive at every single application that you use, you're asserted as admin? That just wouldn't work in the sysadmin DevOps world. Um, it's worth considering what happens in our other products, which are privilege process automation and privilege endpoint management. Now, in privileged process automation, the whole goal is to be able to delegate a privileged process right down to the part of the business where it needs it. So this is entirely appropriate to put into an IAM system. So if in an IAM system you have the right to flush print queues, then or right to run a task that flushes print queues, then it's okay for this thing to happen and you assert yourself to PPA and you get that done. PEM's another good example as well of things that may or groups that you may or may not be in. Um, in this particular case, you can think of uh, Active Directory as an IAM system. So it means you can split your business users up and you can split your DevOps, SecOps and sysadmins up. And for your business users, you can say, it is perfectly okay to be able to update this application or update this driver. And then for your sysadmins, you can say it is okay for you to run more complex tools like uh, SQL managers or uh, Wireshark or something like that. Anyway, as you know, 
Assyrian makes these three products, privileged access management, privileged process automation, and privileged endpoint management. And if you want to know about your people-based security posture for the accounts that really matter, the right place to look is in your PAM system. But the IAM systems that you're installing and using at the moment have an enormous amount of value to all three of the products that we manufacture. So, I hope you found that interesting and useful. And as always, if you'd like to know more, please get in touch.